and welcome to Smash of the Day, our 10th episode. With me this week is coach of the Morning Munchers, Max Hempel. Say hello, Max. Hello, Max. Oh, f- you almost made me swear, <laughs> Max. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at these results. So, game one, Gallons of Grog, nil, Vanilla Killer Kitch, one. It's just not been the season, has it, for these guys at all? Well, saying at one point they were the favourite to win Division 1, this is uh, quite different to what people predicted. It certainly is. Um, where did it go wrong? Let's have a look. From uh, what, from what, I, from what I, I didn't see it, did you see it? Uh, no, I've not seen it. I've just, just heard from what Dave told me. I heard that he was struggling to base the uh, goblins. Yeah. Mm. It looks like he failed two pass attempts. And he got a 20% success rate on his dodges. But really, with Orcs, you just don't want to be in a position where you're forced to pass or dodge, do you? And certainly, as Orcs, you don't want to be making five dodges in a game? No, not, not, not particularly as Orcs. Mm. Well, there we go then. I suppose that's it, isn't it? It's difficult to say, but there wasn't really a great deal of SPP for the Goblins. No, they they got the MVP and they got the touchdown. Looking at the dice rolls, Greg Greg blocked the chainsaw and obviously he managed to injure the chain chainsaw or at least break armor because he succeeded with the chainsaw. Yeah, that's the answer. That's the answer to your question of the last few times. Unfortunately, but, Bomber Dribble Snot got the SPP, <laughs> got the MVP. That serves sucks. him right. Stealing that stealing that win from me last week. <laughs> <laughs> well, that. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, he was in that, yeah. Mm, yeah. Well, anyway, let's move on. Slimy Helmets and Sean Hawks. Again, another team that you expected to be doing better. Yeah. Just not finding the form. And again, another scenario where they did alright on SPP. Yeah. That's not bad at all. They can they can give out the hurts, they just can't pick up the ball. Mm. Yeah. There's a Sean, Sean's patented actually passing with that one SP completion there. I mean, yeah, the hel- the helmets succeeded five pickup rolls out of five. <laughs> so I'm just have not been able to get far for them. Looks like they inflicted a lot of hurt. Yeah, just couldn't couldn't get the touchdown apparently. They broke uh, armor twenty three times. Wow, look at that! The Hawks um, seven uh, catch attempts and he only succeeded one. What wow. the hell went on there with with elves as well? Disturbing presence. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Wow. Oh, Sean failed to break out of tentacles eight times. That sounds annoying. Eight out, eight out of 12 times. And he, and he still won. Yeah. <laughs> well, another surprise result, I think. Um, French Taunters, Brexit in Spines. A one-all draw. Now, this really, I mean, to be fair, a draw seems about what you'd expect yeah. from these two, to be honest. Oh, look at that. <laughs> MVP on a dead guy. Oh, God. Oh, man, that sucks. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Actual and, death as well, not just fireable injury. And MVP on the Minotaur as well. It's first bit of SP. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. He, got, he managed an intercept. He made a pass. Yeah, not not too mm. bad there. Shame, shame he couldn't catch the ball at all, ever. Looking at Dave's team, his entire team at the moment has got to just be that that agi four bludgeon and beastman. Well, well, insane. We'll come to that shortly. <laughs> what I'm yeah. confused about, right, is if the French taunters succeed, uh, attempted five catches. Oh, that'll be the ball pinging about somewhere, won't it? When it got dropped. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing there would have been a lot of cages and co- and dodging into block ca- blocking cages to take down ball carriers. Yeah, I should imagine so. So, Max. Morning Munchers versus the Junglers, why don't you tell us what happened? <laughs> well, first of all, I decided... The Ogres decided they didn't want to behave. And then I then I, uh, I managed to pull a little tra- little trap and bait his crocs into a little, little cage perfect for a nice little foul, which unfortunately only knocked it out. And uh, yeah, the Ogres just don't behave, which is a yeah. shame. After Looks the like first two matches. Struggled. No one but, got any SPP out of it, really, did they? No. Uh, Santa got the MVP. Dayman got a miss next game onto one of his Saurus, but 
not the best. Mm. Didn't get many of his guys back from KOs. Seven no. out of seven for one on injury. That's quite good. Yeah. And it looks like he had a good time picking up and passing there because he's got three pickups and three catches. Yeah. Well, that's what it's like playing ogres, though, isn't it? I know that pain all too well. Yeah, so sometimes they just behave and it's brilliant. Other times, they do whatever they want. Shall which is not a... what you want. Yeah. Shall we have a quick look at the leaderboard after that, then? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so we've got the junglers at the top. Tied for points with the uh, gobos. Brilliant. So, I mean, that's... Yeah, always always nice to see stunties up there. <laughs> Precisely, yeah. Mm, elves and Brett's next... I think it's really. Yeah. I'm surprised that the we've got chaos, Nurgle, and Orc all at the bottom. So it's all the bashy guys at the bottom. Yeah, I'm surprised I'm not at the bottom. <clears throat> I think it just goes to show, really, the whole. You know, the general consensus is that bashing is easy to pull off, and it wins games. And playing dodgy is hard work, and you usually don't get rewarded. But looks like we're seeing the opposite here. Yeah. Shall we have a look at those teams? Yep. Yeah. Well, looks like the lizard men haven't spent any of their upgrades yet. Same with the orcs. <clears throat> yep. Well, well he's got too. he's got two skinks up. So, what are you thinking? He's already got a catcher. It's it's more dependent on what he rolls. <clears throat> if he get if he gets a double, always dirty player or block just to make a skink more just survivable. Or good old sidestep or even just fire it so your TV doesn't bloat too much because he's getting quite getting a bit bloaty would you give one sure hands because now he's got a he's got a yeah. he's got a catcher right so pick up with yeah. sure hands hand off to hand off to the catcher yeah but at the same time he's got he's got the agi 4 which is if he's picking up with the agi agi 4 he doesn't need sure hands as much yeah, I suppose. Yeah, because at, at the end of the day, it's still a it's a du it's a double. It need a roll a double for it, which puts his TV up quite a bit. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, still needs to get block on those other two Saurus though, doesn't he? Yeah, so close as well. That's his he, missing. He level. was he was hoping so much to get some cash on me <laughs> snotlings, and he failed to break armor half the time. Or if he did cause a cash, it was with someone who already had block. That's just bad luck, that is. Let's have a look at these ogres. How are we getting on? <laughs> They're the exact same as they've been for a couple of weeks now. <laughs> yeah, not really much to say here, is there? Just need a uh, bit more SPP. Just another cash on those two ogres. Yep, they couldn't even... They couldn't, they couldn't break armor on a skink. <laughs> are you just going to keep having the loner Noblar and, and save up for another but, ogre? Yeah, yeah. No point really prioritizing replacing Noblars because it's... A loner Noblar is basically the exact same as a regular Noblar. They yeah. are just as useless. And if your loner gets the S the MVP, you could always buy him anyway, couldn't you? Yep. Dirt cheap. <clears throat> well, not really much to say here. Let's have a look at the Bretts, who are now 1,420 TV. So the bloat is is a, is real oh, for these guys now. That is wow. disgusting. Yeah, that Strength is disgusting. Strength blitzer. That, those three blitzers are phenomenal, aren't they? And to be fair, those blitzers are some of the best units in the game. They can pretty much handle the game on their own. Oh yeah, definitely. They are they are up there for some, one of the best players in the game. That if you have a look at their skill access, just on a normal roll, it's general agility and passing. Pretty much everything. Yeah, you're laughing. Well, so we've got um, sidestep and dodge. We've got kick and strip ball. We've got a lineman with block. He's got his dirty player there. The block climbing does have an armor down though. He's Bit got of a weak tacklers. link. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I'd oh, be, I'd be oh he's rid got of him three, now. three tackle, yeah. tackle on a blitzer as well. Oh, so he has, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was uh, kick. Yeah, that's tackle. You're right. This is a really nice team. Someone, I'd, I'd somebody... be genuinely afraid to go up against this. Well, I'm against them ne next week, so this is going to really be fun. Are you genuinely I... afraid? Ah, uh, well, between ogres that. Don't like to behave, but he's got Dauntless, which negates my strength advantage. And then there's Snotlings, which are not too good, especially in he's got Tackle there. So it's fair to say that you're genuinely afraid. I think 
I think he's definitely going to win, but <laughs> maybe I'll just maybe I'll just stamp on him a little bit, kill another blitzer. Well, best of luck with that. Let's have a look at these Nurgle. It's not been a great season for them. Um, no, would you the say that it's now time to fire a couple of these rotters and rely on inducements? Yeah. Or even, or even save up and buy another beast. <clears throat> because they are beast is one of the best big guys. Big guys in the entire game, mm. just by the be the best in your opponent's team. They're not they're not used like a regular big guy where you just keep sending them out to block. You put them in an area in the ma on the pitch and you forget about them. Mm. Those warriors are nasty though. Look at that. Yeah, they've all got block now. Yeah, always good to see. Apart from herpes, but oh, he's yeah, got the he's, he's the claw guy. So you know. Yeah. It, to be fair, if he levels up again, I'd be tempted to just give him my blow as well. So you've got that one claw yeah. my blow, and you're breaking armor on a seven. So it's basically like yep. punching halflings every time you throw a block. So you're yeah. laughing there, aren't you? <clears throat> this, I mean, again, I think this is quite a good team. Yeah. Ooh, it's a what's... shame that he struggled because there's no, you know. It, got a niggle on his. Got a niggle on his spare extra arms guy. Yeah, I'd I'd just sack him off now. I'd get and, rid uh, of him. Um, that would bring his TV down by a hundred k. That would make I'd, him one one six zero and give him loads of inducements. I'd even get rid of the hepatitis to say the the rotter with niggle because yeah. if he's got a niggle and he's got decay. He's second his arm is broken. He is most likely going going to get even worse. Yeah, yeah. Decay with no no way to regen from it. Yep, yeah, sack both sack both those guys off. And your TV comes down by 1,040? Yeah. So, sorry, yeah. What am I talking about? 140. So that puts him at 1120, and that's going to give him inducements against pretty much everyone in the division. Pretty much, yeah. See how that goes. Uh, Vanilla Killer Kitsch, one team that he won't be getting inducements against. <laughs> <clears throat> Good old goblins. I mean, what can you say about these? Every week we come onto them, and it's like, yeah. They've got a troll with block, and they've got another. They've got another one with uh, yeah with guards, and that's what you want. Well, they have they haven't got their their cheapest secret weapon. Yeah, that's the bomber. true. That's true, uh, and he can't afford one. But nope. yeah, there's just yeah. <laughs> you can say they're doing very well. They're doing incredibly well, and yeah. and I suspect that's because they've not got anything. Because yeah. you don't really want you guys to level unless you get like a double and get something amazing. You don't really want you guys to level up. It's like treatment, isn't it? If you've got yeah. two level three, like level fourth level treatment on your halfling team, and each of them has just rolled standards, and you've got like multiple block, break, tackle, and guard on all of them. At that point, you've no just got bloat, haven't you? You might as well fire him and get new treatment. Yeah, just and it's the same just with like, these guys. Just like me, no, no real point taking the apothecary because you don't want you you live on the inducement, so you don't want to have have the TV bloat. Exactly, and and the fact that he's got a thirteen-player squad with two leveled-up trolls, and he's still only on a thousand TV. Yeah, well, he knows what he's doing. Um, let's have a look at the Hawks. One thousand two hundred and seventy, quite a low TV. Um, ah, but they're missing a lineman. They're missing yeah. a block lineman. Is it just yeah, me, sure. or does, do these guys look a bit depleted? Uh, his first game, he went up against me and took some casualty. He then took some cash in his second game, and. Looking at his his treasure, I think he's just re rebought some players as well. Right, I mean that those top six players are quite nice though. He's got his he got a mighty blow lineman. He's got That's... two two extra blockers. He's got oh. the strip ball, but his blitz has got a niggle. Oh, he's got an AV down. Yeah, his strip ball's got an AV AV down. That's that's a tough choice <laughs> on whether you whether you keep him now or is he just going to be a liability. Well, I mean, yeah, it is a tough one. But he's do dodge strip ball and he's got so he's a blodger yeah. with sidestep and strip ball. Like I, I think it's worth just keeping him. It's almost impossible yeah. to lock him down. Yeah, until you come up against someone with tackle. Yeah, maybe. Well, tackle. It still looks like a formidable team to go up against. This does. Oh, definitely. And he's got the advantage of inducements. Let's have a look at the. Uh, Brexiting spines. These guys highest really, TV. yeah, they've really embraced highest the bloat. Highest TV in the uh, highest TV in all of the divisions, I think. Embracing the bloat just like Chaos do. If your TV's one thousand four hundred ninety, why the hell would you keep a Pestigor with an AG down? That's uh, I don't think it's worth eighty k. Uh, uh, sorry, it's got a block. Even. It's got block, and he's 
you don't really have to di you don't have to really pick up with with him because it's not because he's got plenty of other guys that c can pick up. He's just more more fodder for for blocking because unlike most most other teams, they they don't start with any block. I mean, if he was a, a warrior, then I maybe agree oh. with you. But as a beastman, I don't really think he's worth it. Oh, if he was a war if it was a warrior that had an edge down, fire him on the spot. Or because or a beastman. And it's less less needed. Mm, we'll have to agree to disagree on that one, because my instinct <laughs> would be to drop down to eleven guys because that's all you need as chaos. There uh, basically dwarves that can move with no core skills. Uh won't go that that far. Developed may develop later maybe, but beastmen are a bit naff on their own. I think beastmen are some of the best linemen in the game. They've got horns, they can pick up the ball, they've got three strength, they can move six, and their AV is above average. Uh, the AV is average. I don't know. I, do, you, do you not consider seven to be average? No, nah, the average is eight. Well, all right. Well, average anyway. I don't know. I think. Yeah, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know that you, in, you play. Um, you play halflings. I know. <laughs> yeah. No. Well. Yeah. No. That's a bit skewed. But in the uh, in the REBBL's lineman league, which is a league where. Well, you you probably can guess you can only take linemen for your team. They've actually yep. banned chaos now from that because they consider oh. it to be them to be too strong out of the box. But I huh. suppose well, yeah, well they've got horns on this, and that's the thing. Yeah. Uh. Well, anyway, we'll 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 let the we'll let the results decide who's correct about that. Uh, yeah. Guns of Grog. So yep. he got two level ups from that. That's quite good. Yeah. One of them's on a black orc. Ooh, armor down black orc. <clears throat> what would you take on him? Probably guard, right? Guard. Guard, guard, mighty blow. Depending if he rolls a double dodge, because everyone loves a blo a bludgeon strength four guy. I can't help but wonder if his lack of guard is what screwed him so far, because it's massive that guard. It's. Is. But when I played him with the ogres, having having three ogres with guard just. Well, it's, I already had the strength advantage, but he just couldn't get get a good hit on me because of the guard. Mm, yeah. He's got he's, he's got all the blocks, so he's imitation dwarves at the moment. But he, but be, but people just line up to him, stop him, stop him getting assists, and they throw one guard guy in, and they're, they're now just two dying all his guys. Yeah. And uh, while it's not it's nice giving everyone block, it is a bit. That's a bit upset. Going over the top with the amount of block he's got there without anything like guard. Yeah, it's time to start prioritising guard now. Although I suspect yeah. he's probably not going to keep these guys into next season. But that's a shame because they are actually. This is a very good team. Yeah. This is a team that most people would be envious of. Yeah. Hmm. Look, looking like his uh, armor six throwers finally bit the dust or been fired. Yeah, well, that was necessary, wasn't it? Shall we yeah. have a look at next week's schedule? <clears throat> Week yeah, five, yeah. we're in the f f f uh, fully in the second half now. So yeah. Hawks versus Gallons of Grog. I mean, every week I've predicted the Hawks, but something is obviously not going right there. Um, uh, it's this is going to be a case of can he beat up the elves faster than the elves can just run around him? I just I feel like I feel like Greg's um, morale is low. His, his yeah. heart's not in it, and he's I got don't know. gone from. Gone from being basically at the top to the bottom. Yeah. So for that reason, I think I'm going to say that the Hawks will probably win this because Sean yeah. knows how to play against bashy teams. Yeah. He has a lot of experience with that. I think it'll two one to to the Elves, maybe even three one. If, yeah. If Sean manages to pull off some shenanigans. Well, since we're not being scored, Sam, on uh, on actual scores, <laughs> I'm just going to say I think the Hawks will win. Yeah. <laughs> so, Brexiting Spines versus Vanilla Killer Kitch. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that is a tough one. The because... stunty coach in me wants to give it to the Goblins. Well, I, I mean, the fact that they're second in the oh. league makes me want to give it to the Goblins, but it's not yeah. like he's playing against some, like, Spindly twiggy little wood elves, where he can, you know, jump all over him and slap him about these with guys, a trot. These guys will hit him. Yeah, and more importantly, he'll have a very difficult time breaking armor. But then you have Fair. to say to yourself, I mean, if but, anyone's going to get through the armor, it's going to be goblins with all the weapons and stuff, isn't it? At the same time, he's going to have 490 inducement cash. 
wow, that's going to... I mean, if you can make that work for him. Do you know what? The, um, the, logic, the logical, sensible prediction is, for me, the chaos, but I actually think that that cash and but, the fact that they've yeah. got all those weapons will make the difference. So I'm going goblins. Well, look, going at the cash, that's... They've got... The, they get Ripper, so that's the the strength six troll with that doesn't have re really stupid or or really hungry, so he's just throwing goblins without without uh, problems. That's you've got all your bribes and you've and that still leaves him with depending on. Now they're not he's not going to get his cheaper star players, but that's still at least able to induce bomber dribble snot. Yeah. So what do you think? Uh, I think the goblins will take it because of the inducements. Yeah, I agree. Well, Jurassic Junglers, top of the table versus Slimy Helmets, somewhere near the bottom. I mean, I think without the uh, the Beast, they're going to have a tough time here. Yeah, he's he's not. The Saurus can ma will match his strength, and he and he can't even hope to keep up with the Skinks. His his fastest guy is six six movement, and the Skinks are movement eight. Yeah, and he's only got and he's only. I think he's only got two guys that can act. That are, has he only got two guys that move? Only two pestigors at the moment. Oh, he's got three pestigors, so they can, with two go for it, so they can keep up with the skinks. If the skinks don't go for it, it's. Saurus are just gonna, punch the rotters out of the way. Mm -hmm. I think we could we'll, we could very realistically see the junglers winning by three or even four. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we both got to give this one to the junglers, aren't we? Yeah. <clears throat> but I hope we're wrong. I would like to see the Nurgle do well. So, yeah. what are you thinking, Max? Morning Munchers, uh, Taunters? 3-1. What, to you? Oh, God, no. <laughs> yeah, I think we both... I, I'd, I'd need to pull off some absolute... very silly shenanigans to be able to do that. Well, surely that's the that's your game plan, right? Uh, I have the I have the choice. I... I can just about induce two extra ogres, one of them with guard. Uh, but it's not going to be as good because he's got Dauntless on quite a few players. Mm. The Snotlings won't be the Snotlings won't be as free roaming because he's got tackle. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I agree. I think if, I think the Brett's will any, win. If, if anything, all I'm going to be going for in that match is hopefully getting the ca the ca two cash on those two ogres. Okay. Well, let's. Um... Let's have a look at Division 2A. <clears throat> so, Bailey Regal 1, Gorgeous gets nil. I actually watched this one earlier on. Oh. Um, yeah, the Orcs had uh, a very tough time. There was like multiple double skulls. They were forced to make dodges and failing them. Um, yeah, you can, you can see here... Uh, <clears throat> They they made twelve dodges, so immediately you're like, well, something's going wrong there. Yeah, uh, sixty six percent success rate. I mean, that's actually about what you'd expect. That's a fair yeah. success rate for th for three agi dodging. But oh yeah. At the same time, you know, you just you don't want to be in that position with orcs, do you? Where you have to dodge. Uh, Terrible, really stupid. You got really unlucky with that. If and, it, yeah, it just he went, failed just half. Well he him. failed half of the go for it. He went for. <clears throat> Similarly, if you look at Bailey Regal, and he doesn't keep in mind he doesn't actually have a catcher, so he's got no one on his team with dodge, as far as I'm aware. But he was still incredibly successful. Eleven successful dodges with three failures. Yeah. yeah. And look at that bonehead there. Fourteen times he activated his ogre, and he succeeded thirteen of them. Fucking hell. Yeah. So he, he had a, a fantastic game, and he almost he almost didn't win though because. He tried to get some passing SPP at the end in like turn 15 and he failed it. <laughs> so there was a moment on turn 16 where he had to pick up the ball on the touchline and it was like if he failed his uh, his sure hands it was all over. But yeah, another win for the brand new humans. A uh, bonus for them both is both the MVPs got a, got a level up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's always nice when that happens. So, another loss for the Rat and Goblin pack. Again, just not their season, is it? And this one was a bad one. And look at that. It was an absolute SPP fest for the humans. Wow. A lot of SPP there. Let's see what went wrong for the Rat uh, and Goblins. Very, uh, half of the KOs didn't uh, wake up. The um, only, 
Only just only passed only just over half of his uh, really stupid rolls. Yep, that's pretty nasty. And he had a, bat, he had a lot of injury, but to be fair, he's, he's got goblins, hasn't he? And then goblins and Skaven. Humans, <clears throat> all fully successful dodges, four successful passes, fifty percent uh, success on his fireball. Yeah. Oh well, that yeah that will have been a factor, right? Look, yeah, he just kept being able to pick up the ball. He was all right on the go for it. Looks like he played yeah. a bit of a passing game there. He's got a lot of catches. Yeah, looks like a, a day when everything just went right for the humans. Yeah. What's he got there? Oh, his, his MVP got an edgy down though. Yeah. I'd fight. Well, would you fire him? I'd fire him on a human team because you do. You yeah. are sometimes forced to play dodgy, aren't you? Yeah, and it's only it's a bog standard human lineman. Yeah. So it's not going to be too expensive to replace. I suppose you see what he gets right, and then. But actually, I yeah. think. Oh, he's, he's given, he got a double. He's given him dirty player. Oh, brilliant! So he's going to make him into a dedicated fowler. Fair enough. Okay, I, I see what you do. I see what you're doing there, Steve. You dirty boy. <laughs> uh, right. Let's have I a look approve. at the ain't ogre till it's ogre versus reigning white power. Brandon's undead had a, another win under the belt. Yeah. What did you watch this one? Uh, I just heard about heard about his uh, star white getting a slight injury. All right. What Not slight white, injury uh, is that? Goal. He's a strength four ghoul, from what I heard, got a, got a niggle or something. Oh, I wonder if he's kept him. We'll have to have a look in a sec. Um, yeah, five successful go for it. So that's always nice, isn't it? Not Failed his regenerate. Yeah. Failed the one regenerate he did. <clears throat> Wants to lucky on the dodging and the picking up, but it looks like it didn't matter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, this just looks pretty all pretty bog standard, doesn't it, really? I mean, if, if both Ogre and Undead have a semi-decent game, you would expect the Undead to win by a touchdown, right? Yeah. What more is there to say about that, really? Well, the, the mummies can just bully the, the Ogres, especially since he only had only has three Ogres. The mummies exactly. can just bully it, especially it's... since he's got a mummy with guard. <coughs> so let's have a look at Wood Elves and Chaos Dwarf. Well, uh, is Luna I did watch got this... the MVP? <laughs> I did watch this one. Yeah. And, and it started, believe it or not, with with Jack beating the el ever loving crap out of the dwarves <laughs> then it then 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 a a bit like deja vu he failed a dodge got an injury from it and it all went downhill from there oh wow okay <laughs> well yeah he had, he's had a bad time with casualties leap didn't come off very well yeah he succeeded 100% on go for its passes and pickups that's yeah. not bad. Looney Tunes, on the other hand, wow, yeah, lots of 100%s there. Well, yeah, I mean, the Chaos Dwarves always have the, the potential to just shut you down, don't they? And grind out that 1-0 win, and that's exactly what's happened here by the looks of things. Yeah, second second half, Jack was not really setting up with much of a team. A lot was, a lot was either injured or knocked out. It wasn't a pretty sight. Well... Let's take a look at uh, the leaderboard, shall we? <clears throat> so, Undead at the top of the table, along with the humans. Yep. Both of those guys have had a stonking season so far. Uh, yep. I mean, you'd probably be expecting those Undead humans and Orcs to be solidly in the top four now, right? Especially oh, if they win the game ne this week. The, the, they're going through. Yeah. So, really, the competition at this point, because... The Ogre in the Underworld, they're out of it, really, aren't they? Four, oh, four the, losses the, out of four. The, unless they somehow manage to win every match after now. <coughs> they are, Even if they did win all three they, of their next matches, they would still a, only be in third place, and that's yeah. only if the Orcs don't win a single other game. Yep. So, so yeah. It's this, not going to happen. It's not even worth considering. The Wood Elves are going to need a small miracle. So really, it's between the humans. What else are going to need a new team at this yeah. rate? Yeah, they're out. That I mean, I'd, I'd like to be proven wrong, but they're out. So it's basically humans or chaos dwarf. Yeah, and I don't know about you, but I quite. I mean, I'm sorry, Graham, but I quite like it to be humans because I would like for us to have a season where Graham isn't the champion. And it's looking very much that way at the moment. Yeah, certainly, which is, is. always nice. Uh, I guess the orcs could still throw it away. Yeah, but I can't see him doing it. Yeah, interesting stuff. It'll be interesting to see how this develops. Let's take a look at some teams. 
<clears throat> Armored Armadillo is very high TV for humans. Oh! Wow. Movement 9 Catcher and a Strength 4 Blitzer. That is absolute AIDS. That's that's your one turner right there, then, isn't it? That Movement 9 Catcher. Get, give him Sprint. And you're and you can one And you can one turn just like a gutter runner. Yep. Well. Oh. Yeah, he's got his dirty player lineman there. I mean. Brilliant. Uh, am I. Is there something I'm missing here? Because it feels like there's a lot of bloat. It's, it's, the TV is very high. Like, wouldn't you fire a lineman at this point? Possibly. I mean, he seems to know what he's doing. <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I probably don't. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's nice. He's got a mighty blow blitzer. He's got his guard blitzer. He's got his blitzer who's there for actual blitzing. With mm. his four strength. Uh, yeah, this is a really, really nice team, isn't it? Two oh, throwers. Catch, catch is a blodger as well. Yeah. Yeah, you, nine you, blodger. I mean, this. yeah, if he can keep this up, you could see him going all the way, really, with that. Definitely. And he's got his apothecary, well done. <laughs> Very important. Burley Regal, a different kind of human team. But the same colour scheme. Yeah, 1060 TV, but this one's got the ogre. Mind you, the other one's got an ogre as well. But yeah, th this one... Um, not so, Actually, he's not... What's happened here? Because he's not... He's not got that is many it, level ups, has he? I don't know if this is just on my screen, but one of his blitzes is just yellow and called yeah, money. Yeah, if you put HTML in the bit where you uh, put the name, you can actually change the colours. Huh, I did I've not know that. I've seen some people change the colours for different positionals. So that they can... Especially with some teams like Amazons, it's sometimes difficult to tell when you're just looking at them. Yeah. Especially yeah, if you're to go running it on a potato. Yeah. So, yeah. Lots of guys on the verge of leveling. Well, a few guys on the verge of leveling here. I suppose yeah. it's nice that most of his linemen have now got block. Because now most of his team have got block. Yeah. So, so many people just go for block for their first skill. Well, it's a, it's, it's a good choice. It's a good, good choice. Nice, but there's... But there's other options at times. Well, what, el what else are you going to go for on a lineman when, when your access is general? Tackle? Wrestle? Yeah. Tackle on one, maybe. Dirty player? Yeah, well, you know, not everyone wants to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some people are wrong. Let's have a look at the Rat and Goblin pack. Been a difficult season for them, but... Uh, yeah. yeah, and but you can see what's going under on. Underworld, it's always tough for them to start yeah. off with. They've got one leveled up player and it's a blitzer with guard. I mean, if you're going to have any leveled up player, it might as well be one with guard, right? Yeah. But, yeah, there's just... Ugh. I mean, I, at this point, I'd be... Like we said, it's not impossible for him to get through. I'd yeah. consider trimming down so that you can really double down on the inducements. You don't need two throwers, really. The problem with Underworld is... they. <laughs> Just like with the fact of they're taking bits and pieces from from both the Goblin and Skaven teams, they they all they don't get the good inducements either. Mm, yeah, so true enough. So but if you can get a hot pot, not a hot pot. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to stop calling it that because it's confusing people. A master chef. Um, yeah. You know that I think a lot, even at 300k, I think a lot of people underestimate just how much you can screw up someone's game with that. If you're up against yeah. a, a Chaos team, a relatively undeveloped Chaos team, or some Wood oh, Elf or yeah, something like that, definitely. and you steal all their re-rolls, that's pretty much game over for them. Because they will inevitably roll some uh, both down, double both down, or something like that. Yeah. I think that's his best bet. But, we'll see. I mean, I, I'd, like to see, I'd like to see Matt do well, because he's had two terrible seasons. And, you know, I'm British, so I like to support the underdog. Wow, look at this Ogre team. That's abysmal. What's going on here? He does, however, have almost one of the greatest ball carriers oh, ever. Oh, yeah. No, he's got his Agi 3. See, I, I looked at the uh, team photo and I didn't see that there was two ogres stacked on top of each other. I thought he only yeah. had two ogres. Right. Yeah, that is nice. Agi 3 ogre. Really Give nice. him the ball. Get another ogre. Give When he eventually buys another o ogre, give that one the ball. Put, put him in the middle of the cage. Try and get the ball off him. Because mm. that, is, that is going to be... It's, it's not going to be the fastest getting up the pitch, but just try and break that cage to get the ball off him. Yeah. Until he yeah. inevitably bone, bone heads on turn eight. Not really much to write home about here, is there? One ogre with guard, but that edgy up is nice. And he's got his apothecary. Huh. 
What a strange man getting on the apothecary in an ogre team. <laughs> well, to be fair, if I had an Agi four ogre, an Agi three ogre, I'd probably buy an apothecary at that point. Yeah, I suppose so. He's going to be a foul magnet. Yeah. If I was playing against them, I'd, that's all I'd care about doing, taking him out. Let's have a look at these woodies. <clears throat> wow. Going back, sorry, going back to the ogre a second. I do find it amusing the amount of people that I've got got a player just named after David. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's uh, he's he's an honoured member of the. Uh, of the league. Ooh, that's uh, more Miss Next Games. <laughs> yep, but they are only linemen. At least he's got yeah. both his war dancers. His catcher has got an AV down. His uh, kick is missing. Oh, yeah, that's horrible. Guard and a lineman. Would you keep a, an AV down catcher? I mean, if he was a, if he'd got his block, it wouldn't be such mm. an issue, would it? Uh, he's not leveled up, so I'd sack him rehire. He can't rehire at the moment. Would you keep him well, just for now? The thing is, once you if you keep yeah. him around... Once you get your your touchdown with him, then he's leveled up. Then you're loath to fire him, aren't you? At the moment, he is basically a high movement, high agility halfling. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> that's that doesn't mean that much because the thing that's crap yeah. about halflings is that they can't move, move anywhere, and, yeah. and they've only got agility three. But yeah, oh yeah, it's tough on that. Is well, it'd be interesting to see what he does. I suppose at this point in Depen the season, he might as well just ride Depen it out, right? Depending on whether. Whether he gets a level up or not, and whether whatever happens first, he levels up, or you get the money to replace him. Yeah, and you don't have whichever happens first. Well, I guess we'll see, won't we? Let's have a look at these Looney Tunies. Yeah, so, we don't need to skip this team. <laughs> twelve players, and he's still he's still beneath twelve hundred TV, so that's quite nice. Yeah. he's got his two it's guard, quite... so that puts him above everyone else in the league on guard, doesn't it? Uh, that bull centaur needs to die. Yeah, Alan bull, Shearer, that bull centaur. Bull centaur. That's, aged, that's absolutely horrible. Whew, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want to come up against that. Are we allowed to put bounties on players? Well, I mean, I can't <laughs> stop you from encouraging people to do things. <laughs> well, it's a very encourageable group uh, of people in this league. Uh, I'll buy a Mars bar for whoever thousand kills it. Are you going to batter it? Are you going <laughs> to deep fry it? Why not? Well. Yeah, he's got his kicker. He's got his uh, dirty player. Ooh, he's got two he's guardsmen like and, a, and a bludger bull centaur. All he need, all he needs now is to get um, maybe like a sure hands bull centaur. Yeah, <clears throat> and then you're laughing. Well, yeah, pretty good looking team there. Yeah, uh, undead top of the table, I believe. Now, uh, this is looking very nice, but I would ah. Uh, there's that ghoul with the niggle. <clears throat> yeah, uh, but I'd keep him anyway because of that strength. Oh, yeah, definitely. Strength for ghoul. What he needs to do now is get rid of some of these skeletons and or zombies and yeah. get himself an, a third ghoul. Definitely. But, yeah, this ghoul. is looking good. Very contrary, good to what the, contrary to what some people say, the ghoul is just one of the best play players. Build him into so many different routes. Have yep, a, they're very versatile and they make some of the best blitzes in the game. Oh, definitely. Yeah, Ghoul's very underrated. Um, yeah, looking nice. I'm interested to see yeah. where he goes with this. I expect to see him in the playoffs. Let's have a look at the gorgeous gets another team that we're expecting to see in the playoffs. Uh, yeah. he's, he's missing his Herc Mortis. Is yeah. that just an MNG? Just an MNG, I yeah. think. <clears throat> so yeah. he'll be down one Blackhawk for his next game, which is not There's ideal. A, but it has brought TV dodgy, down. AG4 Blitz, sir. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, now that's, yeah. That's a game changer. He's got his ball carrier there, then. Yeah. Which is good, because he's got no thrower. <laughs> <laughs> eh, there's you, the Blackhawk, yeah. which also has dodge. Yeah, it's, it's mad, isn't it, that he's managed to roll dodge on two, two of these guys. Two of these Blackhawks. Dave's a goblin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is looking good. I mean, yeah, you would expect these guys to do well, right? Oh yeah, got he's got the got the standard three re rolls, the apof, a nice looking team. Yeah, yep. Let's have a look at next week's load of games. So, ain't ogre till it's ogre versus gorgeous gits. I mean, you really can't look oh, past the orcs for this one, can you? No, definitely. What's the TV difference? <clears throat> he's not even get Ben's not even going to be really getting much much inducements. Yeah, I he's gonna. Have... So. Yeah, he's. 
he's not going to get much out of the inducements either, which is a bit... It's unless, not... Yeah, unless something goes terribly wrong for these orcs, you'd expect them to comfortably win by two or three, wouldn't you, really? Yeah. Okay. So we've got a bottom of the table bash here. Food Fighters versus the Rat and Goblin pack. Um, Ooh. So this is a... The, 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 if the Woodies are going to have any chance of making a, 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 a late comeback for the playoffs, it's now. this is their opportunity, right? But, unfortunately, they are going to be heavily outnumbered from from the kickoff, aren't they? They're going to be heavily outnumbered, and and uh, the Rat and Goblin Packer has uh, the, the bonus of fouling fodder, so, and when and you start losing what else? Just one troll. Oh, just one troll. But well, still, that thing with Mighty Blow is going to be nasty yeah. against Wood Elves. When, when the Wood Elves start losing players, it, start, it hurts. Yeah. <sighs> Do you know what? I keep doing this every week and then getting it wrong, but I think the Rat and Goblin pack will win this. I, yeah, I have to agree with you there. Okay, good. I'm glad you agree. Hopefully, I'll get that. This is, it's, you know what? Now that now that Sam is keeping track of my predictions, I'm I'm a lot more conscious of them. <laughs> I think that's a good thing. He's holding me to certain journalistic standards. Yep. Uh, so. Looney Tunes and Bailey Regal. Well, Ooh. this one's an interesting one, isn't it? I mean, the the humans have, have done well, but Graham really knows what he's doing. We have we um, have a, a a debatable pro versus a new player. A debatable pro. <laughs> I've only ever seen him win against people who've never really played the game before. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> We have uh, we have Newcastle Orc champion 1991 versus a new player. Yeah, I th- yeah, mm, I think I'm going to have to give this one to the Chaos Dwarves, but yeah. I would not be surprised if I was proven wrong about that. But I do think they'll just edge it because that Bull Centaur is just horrible. He's going to str- if he can't take down the Bull Centaurs, they're just going to run just similar to. Well, they're not going to be picking up the ball as easily. Similar to to Skinks, Skaven, they're just going to run circles around him. Yeah, I'd, especially I mean, si- especially since he hasn't got got catchers that can keep up with them. If I were the humans, if I were Sam, I'd be tempted to get a bribe for this one and play a fouling game. Yeah. Mm. Well, let's have a look at uh, reigning white power versus the Ooh. armored armadillos. Another top Battle of the table the clash. Yeah. That's that is a really tough one to call. I mean, the, that human team that that Steve's got is nice. Um, I'd say Brandon's best player is currently is going to be set a, sitting this match out. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I I feel like I feel like the armored armadillos will take this purely on on the coach's prior experience playing Blood Bowl. What's the TV difference? Armored armadillos thirteen seventy. All right. So has he got yeah. gold? So Bran, Brandon, ah, he's just shy of 200k. But still, yeah. he can get some good stuff with that. I, yeah. I'm going to disagree with you. I think that the undead will take that. Well, after we, we'll have to find out there. Yeah, next week it'll be exciting to see. Uh, yeah. Let's move on to our last league, 2B. So <clears throat> this what one was my game: be? Luna Chicks versus Vermin Vengers. Well, was you tuned in for this one? I was not. Six percent ball possession is basically um, the, the the key, the core stat there. Oh dear. Um, yeah, basically he he played he, he scavened me, so I can't really I can't really blame him. He it, it it constantly felt like I was hammering him, but he could pick up the ball in between two or three of my guys, dodge out and throw passes up the field completely invalidating the previous four turns where I'd built up an advantage and that's I know basically that. what you do with Skaven isn't it? I know that feeling in Skaven where you've <laughs> beaten off the entire team off the pitch but they still managed to beat you yeah, fair play to him um, he, another, yeah, he earned it he earned it another nice bonus of both your MVPs got the, got a level up yeah, yeah, we, yeah, that is true Rusty Axe Wounds, Wolves on the Bones. Oh, Matt, 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 you've had a terrible season. But unfortunately, that's what happens when you take um, you take these guys, isn't it? His MVP yeah. did have a... Is that a niggle? Uh, it doesn't... Have, yeah, it doesn't yeah have it's, it's, I think it's a niggle. 
It's giving him fend. Oh. Well, we'll look at that in a sec. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another win for the Wolves. It looks like uh, yeah. the uh, Norse only Flesh got Gollum. an MVP. Flesh Gollum levelled up as well. Yeah. What, what went wrong? He struggled to uh, get his guys back after KOs by the looks of it. Yeah, he made way more dodges than you want to as a Norse team. Yeah. And yeah, it just looks like it didn't work out for him. And we've got seven successful go for it's for the Wolves. So yeah, it looks like they just sl just slightly edged it really. Maybe they yeah. were quite unlucky the uh, the Norse. Um, okay, Orchestra versus Teddy. Wow, three nil. A, a true Ooh. battering, and his MVP is dead. Who I'm was a loader sure anyway? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's happened to Sam every week. Well. What happens when you play these gimmick teams, isn't it? Unfortunately, six percent ball possession, so we had it for a turn. And look at that—an absolute SPP fest for the Orcs. And I've, and because of it, it was a death. Sam got absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's a shame. Hmm. What was Sam rolls? He, f he failed. Failed six out of sixteen leaps. Failed most of his catches. Failed most of his pickup attempts. The thing is, I can see. I failed, can imagine Sam failed was both like, his, failed both his passes. Yeah, I can imagine he was like picking up the ball in in the middle of cages and stuff like that. The one he because he, he plays like yeah. a nut job. Yeah, well, he plays snotlings without the ogres. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, solid win for the Orcs there. And finally, Mordor's yeah. rejects and the down and outs. Uh, yeah, just another unlucky game for Fritch. Although it looks like he got a level up on his Chaos Warrior, which is quite nice. Chaos what, got a death as well. Yeah. What do the stats tell us? Uh, stats Not tell us that the, the undead got a lot got more, the more won in the SP battle but lost the actual lost the actual game yeah the stats tell us that as a chaos team he tried to make 11 dodges Again, not not really how you want to play. <laughs> There's been a lot of that this week, hasn't it? Bashy teams making yeah. dodges. The thing is, if you're forced to do it, though, you're forced to do it, right? There's not much yeah. you can do about it. But look at that for the uh, down and outs there. He's got 100% success in his go for it. He's been fine with all his casualties. He's one guy that got KO'd, woke up. And that can make the difference, right? Because if it's half yeah. time and you've both got one guy in the KO box and your opponent gets his back and you don't, that's the beginning of a death spiral right there. Definitely. Yeah. Solid little Broke win up. for the uh, for the undead. Broke. The chaos did break armor seven seventy one percent of the time though, which is always always a nice little thing. Wait, just wait, couldn't win the one. match for him. People sending me messages. Let me just uh, oh. set me to do not disturb. There we are. There you go. Tom's been made immortal now by that. Um, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> leaderboard. Let's have, a, let's have a look at the teams. Oh yeah, the leaderboard, oh. of course. So, orcs and necros. Both with three wins. Yeah. I mean, this one's a bit more open than the other one, isn't it? You would yeah. assume that the Norse are now out of it. Four losses in well, a row. There's not really much they can do to catch up. But, you know, they could always manage to manage to pull, pull something out and get get up to third if something goes horribly wrong for someone else. Just like... Well, it's, I, it's I don't a, know if they could, a, you know, because... There's, it's, a po it's a slight possibility. It's just not... It depends who they're playing, because thinking. so many teams above them would have to lose... So many matches for that just to like, happen. Just like, just like in the other division, it's possible. I don't but think it's just it is. so unlikely. I don't think it is possible because I think they've already played. Well, they've already played um, me, and well, let's look. Let's look uh, at it, shall we? Let's have a look. Yeah. Uh, so just next, at next it now. week they've got Teddy. So yeah, that could. Yeah. Then they've got um, Vermin Vengers. Then they've got the Down and Outs. So. Uh, it doesn't actually. Yeah. The result against the down and outs is irrelevant. Um, yeah. <clears throat> actually, well, yeah. Man. Vermin Avengers. Yeah, and it depends who everyone else is playing as well, doesn't it? I th yeah. It would, I don't. I don't think it is possible actually. Um, I think they could possibly get up into fifth. Yeah. So the real the real race here then is Mordor's rejects are in with an outside chance. Teddy, it's going to be. Again, I think they're basically out of it now. Yeah. Very difficult. Uh, so it's between Chaos, Amazon, and Skaven, really. Um, Undead, if they can win one more, they're pretty much through. What do you think out of those fourth, fifth, and sixth? Who would you expect to take that fourth place? Hmm. 
feel like he'll be the scaven that will end up taking it. Do you reckon? So they've yeah. got they've got the Necros in the next game, then they've got the Norse, then they've got Kislev. You'd expect them to beat Norse and Kislev. Oh yeah. It's just if they can weather that game against Wolves and their Bones, then yeah, yeah they're, in, got, they're in with a good shot. They've got the good old werewolves that can almost terrifyingly keep up with with his gutter runners. I think I'm pretty much out of it with the, with the Amazons because next week I've got Chaos, who I'm going to have a tough time oh, against. That's going to hurt. And then I've got the down and outs and wolves in their bones. <laughs> so I'm going to have to really start pulling wins out of my backside if I'm going to make that work. May want to take some life insurance out for your Amazons. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's have a look at the teams. Wolves and their bones. Okay. Block on both the werewolves. Lovely. He's now got three guards. Oh my god, that's horrible. Yeah. That. Oh. The flesh golems are gut. Flesh go God stand firm, flesh golems. That zombie wants firing. Definitely. Because. Fire. If he's going to have. Higher. Yeah, if he's going to have a seven armor zombie, then he might as well have a skeleton. Which is yeah. which, which is the exact same stat line for the same price. Uh, he, got, he, doesn't get, he doesn't get skeletons for necromatic. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. And he's, yeah. And his zombies. Yeah, that zombie wants fire and he's a liability. The zombies are there to stand and get punched. Is he? He's got twelve players, so he doesn't really have to replace it either. And he and all he and he just gets the bonus of he's forty k cheaper. Yeah. And if he really wants to be team value one thousand two hundred thirty, fire a zombie and get two assistant coaches and two cheerleaders. Or even just buy a ghoul. Yeah. Because oh, you've yeah. got no ghouls. Yeah, I'd get a ghoul, yeah. That's so good. Yeah, they are good. Um, well, yeah, other than that, though, that's a nice team. Two, yeah. two flesh golems with stand firm and guard. That's horrible. Horrible to play against. The the setup will set up. Just put your, two, put, put your white in the middle, then the two flesh golems on the outs on either side of him, and just leave them there. Leave them there for the setup, and that is going to be so annoying to face. Optionally laugh maniacally when you do it. Well, it's <laughs> mandatory to do that. Let's have a look at these Kislev. What's left of him? All nine of him, oh my god. What is going on I, here? I, I, th I think I see the problem with his team. <laughs> He's got one levelled up lineman who's, who has Hail Mary pass. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with his team is he's called Teddy, with nobody actually called Teddy on his team. Where's the bear? Teddy Morgan. Come on, Sam. Where's the bear? Yeah, yeah. Get a bear. How much do bears cost? About 110, 120. I think he needs 30 more k to get the bear. <coughs> ah, that's unlucky. Yeah. Hmm, not Sam, really much I'll say about this, but it is meme team in it really at the end of the day. Yeah. Sam, buy the bear after this next match. Just do it. Just, just do it. Okay. He, all right. Well, he's got 12 players and 140 k in the bank for the uh, down and outs. <clears throat> he's now got Ooh. three bludger ghouls. Now this is where you want to be as an undead team. Yeah. You fire this is a very nice. Yeah. Fire two of those zombies. Get another ghoul. Then you've got your four yeah. ghouls, your two whites, your two mummies, and that's it. You're good to go for the rest of the rest of the or, career now. Or even just throw in a fourth reroll. Could do. I mean, just yeah, be, maybe. Just just be careful because you're on your teeter on the on the edge of your treasury, uh, going over into team value. I wouldn't get the reroll because you want to get your ghouls as quickly as possible so you can start getting levels on them. Yeah. Because you ideally want to get them all to blodger because then the AV7 is somewhat negated because you can't really knock them down. Yeah. But yeah, that's looking good. Those three blodger ghouls are nice. If you can get an, an Agi up on one of them, you're laughing then. Get, you, got, you got get a dedicated God. ball carrier. Get guard on your other mummy and, yeah, and just like the flesh golems. It's just going to be so annoying during the initial setup on the scrummage, but even worse because they're strength five. And if you can get a double, give one of them block. And again, Laughman man, I words. Yeah, <laughs> Laughman words. <laughs> the name's yes. words. Laughman words. Uh, okay, chaos. He's got to level up on his chaos warrior. You'd Quite expect good. him to give block to that guy, wouldn't you? Really? Yeah, I'm assuming <laughs> one of his one of his beastmen or. The, player that died that game yeah I'd, and one of them's got an AV down so I'd, hmm. I'd sack him yeah it's a shame because he's got 5 SPP yeah but you know 
You don't want him to nick another MVP or SP somewhere. You don't want him messing up your vibe. Yeah. Yeah, not much else to say about that. It'll be interesting Just... to see what he rolls on that Chaos Warrior. I mean, if he gets a double, what you, what would you give him? Uh, dodge. Block, dodge, probably, yeah. Uh, or Hail Mary Pass, right? The best skill that you can give a Chaos Warrior. Oh, definitely. Interesting that he gave, they gave his Beastman block and not, not, not sure hands or extra arms. Well... There's a school of thought that says you can just use your rerolls for your pickups, and it's better if you can just get block on all your guys. Yeah, I suppose so. Especially but, when you've got so few developed players like this. Yeah, just always nice to have someone who can semi-reliably pick up the ball. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look at these orcs. Especially with chaos. Oh wow, look at that! That is. Oh, oh my god, disgusting! His his throw has got four strength. You know what you're going to do there, right? Pick up the ball and then just start throwing blitzes with your thrower while he's carrying the ball up the field. With that goblin, you need to buy a troll. Yeah. He'll be getting, touch he'll be getting the one turn touchdowns, movement seven. Oh, yeah. that's. Oh, Le yeah. Who would you carry the ball with on this team then? The goblin or the thrower? Le level him up, give him sprint, throw him, and you've got one, and you've got a touchdown every nearly every time. What about, oh, um, <clears throat> what about level him up, give him catch? And then you can yeah. pick up the ball with your four strength throw. Right. You need to need to roll a double to give him catch. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose. Mm, Add your boom. excess only. This is a nice looking team though. He's got he's got oh, two yeah. blitzers with guards. He's got his nice. black orc dodgeman. Na nice little developing team. So glad I played these in week one because I would not want to come up against them now. Uh, yeah. All right, let's have a look at the rusty axe wounds. Nope, that's the wrong <laughs> team. So. He's got a, a lineman with kick. He's got Always a lineman good. with fend. That's Always. A, yeah, pretty standard for uh, yeah. for Norse. Yeah, he's just been unlucky here, hasn't he, really? He's just not got any yeah. SPP on anyone. He's been starved of SPP, basically. His Ulfwin has been close to leveling, I think, for a couple of weeks now, I believe. Yeah. Um, he, took the, he got the MVP P early on and then just failed to do anything. Yeah, it's just unfortunate, isn't it, really? But this is... It happens. Norse either go one way or the other, don't they? You either stomp everyone or you just get your head kicked in because of that seven armour. Yeah. And, and even it just goes to show even when you do take a couple of Ulf winners for that extra armour and extra strength, it doesn't always work out that way. No. Yeah, unlucky. But I'll be interested to see what he comes back at us with next season because he is, he is definitely out of it now. Yeah. Plus he can just play for memes now for the rest of the season. Just oh, have a laugh. Oh, definitely. So have a look at Skaven, a team with a very real chance of getting into the playoffs. Yep. Uh, Wonder why we'll play next season. <clears throat> Probably, uh, maybe Skaven. he'll move on to uh, to Underworld Denizens, so he doesn't <laughs> try, stray too far away. Uh, got a runner with Wrestle. Nice. Yep. Got a runner with Block, so he's got his Blodger runner, he's got his Wrestle runner, his Roger, as they're sometimes known. Yeah, uh, lineman with He's kick, standard, and then a lineman with wrestle. Yeah, another lineman with wrestle. Yeah, not looking too bad. Standard, standard Skaven, really. The rat ogre didn't do much for him last last week. I fouled it out of the game in my turn one. The rat ogre is just—he's <clears throat> a weird player for Skaven because they—they are complete opposite of how Skaven would usually play. I suppose, but coming from someone who plays a hell of a lot of halflings. Having the Rat Ogre there basically forces one or two other players to get tied up by it. Uh, it's just a case of, uh, for, for the same price, you could you can get uh, three extra linemen. Or, and if he goes down, you're generally having to waste your blitz just to get him back up. Yeah, true enough. Hmm. Well, we'll see if it, just com a if it comes off for him, shall we? Yeah. And finally, my team, the Lunar Chicks. So I've finally got uh, some guards. I've still got a my nice strength for blitzer. Always good. Actually, I've had Just a guard a while. The catcher is now a blodger, but the catcher hasn't really done anything so far, to be honest. Yeah, guessing guessing he got got a lucky cash on the MVP. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's, not, it's nothing to write home about, is it really? Well, four rerolls, fairly standard team. Missing a you're missing a player. I don't think I'm going to bother replacing her. Just going to have the loner. I might as well save up because, um, yeah. you know, yeah, why not, right? I could get myself another catcher. Yeah. 
Although they're not doing anything. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, pff, it's not amazing, but that strength four blitzer makes makes it easy for me to to blitz each turn. Yeah. Well, shall I have a look at predictions? Yep. Mordor's rejects versus the Lunar Chicks. I'm sorry, but I may have to go with the Chaos here. Well, I'm obviously going to back me. Um, I think I can take him. He's got I'm no core sorry. skills. I'm thinking of the wrong Chaos team then. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Max, you don't have to backpedal just because of my extremely intimidating presence. Oh, no, I was just... I was thinking of the... The other chaos team we were just looking at. Yeah, yeah this is the this is the undeveloped one. Yeah, he's yeah. only got two blockers. Uh, yeah. Presumably he'll have three by the time he levels that guy up. I think that I can take him. Yeah, is without block, his chaos warriors are they're strength four, which is nice, but they're not the most reliable at blocking because they don't have block. Yeah, and they, with, they with all my dodge, you'll just you'll struggle to knock me down. Yeah, your blo your blodgers will be annoying. You can just dodge around him. You'll have to re-roll all the both downs, otherwise we yeah. will both go down for the for most of my guys. Uh, and I'm just yeah. going to stay away from his strength four warriors and just focus on his uh, beastman. With your well, with your strength four guy, you can just you can just pick off his warriors one at a time, and and you can always just foul them. Exactly. So I predict me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, orchestra versus down and outs. This one's going to be a tough Ooh. one. Yeah, these are both very good teams, very well developed. There's a lot to them. The down and outs will get will get a 110 TV, well 110 inducement cash. So, but that's not really there's not really much you can get for that. Uh, bribe well, it's, either to, a, it's either a bribe or bribe or two <clears throat> to a uh, Bloodweiser babes. Yeah, or there's there's one or two star players he could indu induce. Ah, uh, you could. Yeah, he could take a chainsaw. Chainsaw's always fun. If he's not taken, if he's not picked up a fourth ghoul yet, he could uh, he could get one of them. Yeah, T taking with the, for that price, you that price. No, you won't be able to take a one with with a level up, but you can just still take a fourth ghoul. The real question is right: if he fires one of his zombies and yep. purchases a ghoul, what will the TV difference be then? Ah. Uh, so it's minus forty k for the zombie, and then yeah. what's well, the really, well, really, well, really, all you just add on thirty to what he's on, so he'd just get, he'd get a eighty. Yeah, he'd get eighty k. Is there a stab guy that he can get for eighty k? Is there uh, a stab star player? He's ninety, I think. Oh right. Well, he could spend an extra ten k and get him because that stab will yeah. be quite nice against high armor orcs. Definitely. Got options, but oh, you, can always, you can always you can always stab that goblin. That disgusting thing movement for. Seven. What do you reckon then, Max? Who's going to take it? <sighs> it's a tough one. I f I feel like the orcs may take it. Just just the high higher arm higher armor may because they're both fairly bashy. Yeah, but I, th I think the higher armor of the orcs will. Well, allow them to just weather it a bit better, and eventually just pick up the ball. And I agree. Score. I think I think the orcs will be too much for him. Um, but think, if if but he can utilise his uh, his mummies well and get that mighty blow yeah. working for him, then it might be a different story. But I think the orcs will take it as well. Yeah. So rusty axe oh. and Teddy. This one's interesting. I mean, I would say yeah. the axe have got a better team. Yeah. Because they've got it's an actual gonna... team. It's going to be tough on Sam with all that block and frenzy. Yeah, I th I think this this is one that the axe wounds could seriously take. Yeah, and you never know. Although I've said they are out of it, and I'm I'd be it's, it's so monumentally small that they're going to get into the playoffs now. But if they can get a decent you know win by a large margin, then I suppose yeah. it's possible. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So axe axe wounds. I'm going to say. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Vermin Avengers, Wolves and the Bones. Ooh, now, th yeah, this is going to be tough for them, and they and the Skaven really need a result out of this to to keep the noses above me. There's only basically, there's only a 40k difference in TV as well. So inducements are so they're pretty much just going to be going in with the teams that we just saw. Well, spend an extra 10k and he can get a uh, a babe. Yeah, and for Skaven, I'd say that's worth doing. 
Oh, definitely. Still, that, though, you'd, you'd have to give this one to Wolves and their Bones, right? The, yeah. I can't see them... And, and I hope and I hope they do win it, because I now need to catch up. Yeah, those... The four... The, the guard on the flesh columns and the guard on the white is just going to make the... They... They... Skaven set up. They set up them in front of his Rat Ogre. The Rat Ogre's either going to have a choice of doing a doing a two die uphill hill against him, or attempting the dodge out, or just stay there and get him beaten up. Yeah. So that's a, so that's his strength guy gone. And then he's got the werewolves that can very reliably hunt down his, his gutter runners and take them down. Yeah, and they both got, they both got blocked now, so they're going to be difficult to to knock down yeah. when they're carrying the ball. Yeah, yeah, got to give it to Wolves on the Bones, right? Well, yeah, that's uh, that's this week's smash of the day. Thanks very much for joining me, Max. And uh, no problem. Yep. Good luck to everyone with the games. Goodbye. <laughs>